in 1946, the nationalisation of the juice supply in South Australia caused them to build this dam in 1948 on the Lee Creek to stop the waters of the creek flooding their newly opened up brown coal mine, which was in the form of open pits. These pits reached a depth of 200 metres and there are about four of these pits which can be now used for pumped hydro. At that time they were using primitive technology to take the coal and the production in 1950 was had risen from 9,000 tonnes a year to 44,000 tonnes and eventually reached a rate of 2 to 4 million tonnes per year taken from these pits. We're searching for pumped hydro storage in South Australia and this time we're looking at a an old coal mine at Lee Creek which used to produce brown coal for electricity generation at Port Augusta and it happened to be on the rower line which ran from Port Augusta to Unadatta which was built by the colonial government of South Australia. Here are the two dams which are in a relationship to using this suggested pipe between the upper and lower dam. And it turns out that there are a number of pits here and if you look at the side view of the pits we can see that this is the upper dam and this is the bottom of the upper dam. Here's where the pressure pipes would come down to this minor pit where at the bottom we could have the pumping station and the generators and then pipes would take the water into the main dam. Here I have put into the side view the details. So this is the top dam with 33 gigalitres of water. The red is the pipe from the bottom of the dam to the start of the pressure pipes down. In the minor pit would be the generating house and a pipe would go to the bottom dam product would be 15 gigawatt hours of energy for 18 hours with a hydraulic head of 216 meters. And this is the price and demand at the moment. As we can see the price is minus 20. Now let's look at yesterday at middle of the day the price was $10.82 and in the evening the price went to 138 so we use that in our calculation for the Lee Creek. Now let's apply those figures to the Lee Creek pumped hydro energy storage. We've, here we have the optimum arrangement where there's 15 gigawatt hours of energy and we're retaining 7 gigawatts as reserve giving us a dispatchable energy of 8 gigawatt hours for a period of 8 hours and means we have 4 turbines and there's 33 gigalitres of water in the dams and it's a closed loop and the hydraulic head is 216 metres and there are power lines from port between Port Augusta and Lee Creek the buy price we saw was $10.28 yesterday during the time when electricity is going to be cheapest and the sale price last night was 138 so the income we're going to get during that sale is 1.1 million and our cost comes at 103 thousand means a profit on the day was just over a million dollars and in a year that would be equivalent to 
$365 million in a year. Now, as a calculation, I bring down the cost of the building of the facility at $3.5 billion. So at that rate, it's going to take us just short of 10 years to pay off the project at Lee Creek is in today's prices and we can see that across the whole of the time of the 40 years the scheme will make a total profit of 11.1 .1 billion dollars we need to see if there's going to be a market for this stored energy using our pumped hydro system and is now 20 40 hours on the 3rd of April and at this point there is a greater demand than supply and we are porting, importing a lot of electricity from Victoria so the question is wh where is the energy coming from within South Australia and so at this time in the evening in South Australia we have 3% coming from batteries 17% from gas and the rest is coming from wind plus the imported electricity from Victoria let's look at the situation for 12 months and here it is for the last 12 months and we can see that wind and gas are the major sources of energy across the whole of the 12 months and so that obviously there's a market here for stored energy